When most of us think of the Navy, we may think of massive battleships out at sea, maybe even submarines. But the Navy also has a different kind of boat when they do need to get to shore. Haley milan Bohr explains. This is the LCAC. I have it on good authority that this is the hidden gem, the dream job in the Navy. It's basically a giant hovercraft that takes Marines and their equipment from ship to shore. Technology is so high, even our boats fly. Chief Petty Officer Andrew Jacobson flies hovercrafts for a living. Yeah, it's a great conversation starter wherever you go. It's technically called an LCAC or Landcraft Air Cushion. Nearly 92 feet long, LCACs hover mere inches above surfaces both water and land. I'd say it's the physics. This one here weighs 204,539 pounds. It lifts and it can carry 100,000 pounds in excess. It can navigate the surfaces of 70% of the world's coastline. Zipping over six foot waves, reaching speeds faster than 40 knots. Jacobson previously served on a ship and says many come to the LCAC community from other areas in the Navy. We're like our own little tribe. We, we keep to ourselves. That is, until it's time to deploy with an amphibious assault strike group. Jacobson says he deploys every two to four years. The crafts travel inside of a large amphibious assault ship. And when they're not bringing troops and equipment to hostile shores, Jacobson and his teammates soak in the best that Navy life has to offer. Got to see some, see some cool stuff, go to Norway, uh, Estonia, a uh, place everywhere, everywhere in the Baltic we went. From a vantage point like no other. It's a really cool job and the, the best part is I get paid to do it and I love it. I'd probably do it for free. Sailors joining the LCAC community go through eight months of tough training before they can fly one of these things. 